Fox Carolina weather. Weather rate certified most accurate local forecast. Soggy weather has started to move across the upstate. It's just going to intensify throughout the afternoon period as well as the evening hours and then get ready for tomorrow morning's commute. It is definitely going to be a damp start to our day. Now here's a look at Fox Raider as we zoom in across Greenville County. Greenville itself, the I-85 corridor up towards the northern portions of the county and even back into Spartanburg having some heavy rainfall right now. You are probably Probably getting woken up if you are in the city of Greenville itself, maybe sleeping. That rain is coming down quite hard. Scattered rain throughout the, the uh, rest of the upstate, anywhere south of I-85, but it looks like Raven County, a quick moving cell is moving through your area. And then for the rest of us, it's definitely cloudy, holding out overcast sky conditions and even a few areas of fog. So here's how the day is going to play out. It's going to be the scattered hit and miss rain showers, isolated storms by the afternoon. It's all this golf moisture that we're working with pulling in from the the south to the north by the afternoon and closer to towards uh, dinner time it could actually have a few rumbles of thunder in the mix some storms could pack a punch too but we'll see widespread heavier rainfall setting up for the morning commute tomorrow you can see right here the upstate just inundated with all of that rain even if you embedded thunderstorms and that scattered rain throughout the mountains, this will lift up towards the northeast for tomorrow afternoon. So by the afternoon and evening hours, we'll actually start to see a little bit of sunshine for the second half of the day before our final round of rain comes and hits us. And the reason why is this cold front. Cold front's going to swing through the region. That is going to provide some lift. We already have some instability. A lot of these weather models are showing indications that we could be dealing with strong and severe storms with the primary threats. Yes, being flooding because we'll see copious amounts of rain but we'll also have to watch out for that cloud of ground lightning gusty winds with the tornado potential too. That's a look at Wednesday afternoon and evening by Thursday. The cold front will be farther off towards the east, so some cooler air will usher on in with some sunnier weather too. But how much rain are we expecting for today? Around a half an inch, maybe locally higher across northeast Georgia. We'll add about two to three more inches on top of that for tomorrow's time frame. And then when everything is all set and done for the next about 72 hours, we could see anywhere from three to four inches of rain for western sections of our viewing area. A majority of us, so two to three inches. So 78 for the high temperature today in the upstate, 72 for the mountains. It's going to be cooler. And here is a look at the tropics. Quickly mentioning we have the tropical storm Peter that's going to be staying away from the continental U.S. And so is Rose with the tropical winds at 40 miles per hour right now. And that one's just going to be a fish storm from here on out. Your 70 forecast consisting of temperatures in the 70s today through Wednesday and then check out Thursday stretch all the way through Sunday. Sunny, comfortable temperatures. Overnight lows will fall into the 40s and the 50s. And we just have these next few days to get through that soggy weather.